Let's, uh, I, I don't really want to dive more into this 2714 loss in London, but let's do it anyway. Okay. Um, let's take some of these issues uh, one by one. How does the offensive line get fixed going forward? Uh, you need to shake up and make some changes on the interior of that line. Um, I know that Mike Pouncey wants to play center. I, I just don't think that it is the best for the Miami Dolphins. Um, Mike Pouncey needs to be at the point of attack, taking on a, a, a defensive tackle, um, not helping with a defensive tackle. I would personally, me, move my pouncey to guard and start another center, maybe sign Samson Satelli. They're not going to do that. <laughs> um, now, that's what I would do. What they can do is give Billy Turner, Sam Brenner an opportunity to move into that starting rotation. Um, Dallas Thomas and Jamil Douglas are both struggling. They're yeah. both two of the worst performing guards in the NFL right now. And while they're not struggling tremendously all game, there are five to six plays a game where the issues rear its ugly head. Dolphins still can't run the ball consistently. That has a lot to do with your guard play. Your guard play has to get better. And the only way that I can see that happening is a shakeup. Is, uh, speaking of that, uh, that running game, yes. is this on laser, the fact that they can't run the ball? Oh. Or do you not blame laser and say, hey, we can't run the ball, we gotta chuck it? Here, here's, here's where my thinking is with what's going on with the Dolphins rushing attack. You know who is the two worst rushing teams in the NFL right now? The uh, Dolphins and, and the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. <laughs> do they run the same offense? Yeah, they do. I think that teams have begun to catch up to this spread offense, this read option approach, and run pass. Obviously, Tannehill running is not much of an element in the, in the offense not right now. 3.4 yards per carry. Uh, Lamar Miller, I don't think they stay with him enough, but now he's averaging 3.5 yards per carry. He was having one of the highest yards per carry average last year. That run for 1,099 yards last season. All of a sudden, he just didn't become a crumb. Right. Um, I, I think that it's a lack of a commitment to a run game. I think the offensive line needs to begin to cut block a lot, a lot more. Um, they do it sometimes, but very minimally. Uh, Brandon Albert needs to come back and get healthy. And you need to show a commitment to the run. Whether it's Lamar Miller, whether it's uh, Jonas Gray, you need to show a commitment to pushing forward, even when you're not successful. And Albert did practice today, said afterwards he felt good. He's, he, he got, like it, he he's got into the Oklahoma go. drill as well. <laughs> yes, he did. So uh, that's good. So, uh, all right, let's go to the other side of the ball. How can they start? Stopping the run, because this has been a major issue now. Oh, my God. Please bring back the 5-2 defense. <laughs> please, I beg you. 5-2 uh, uh, defense, to me, put five defensive linemen on the line of scrimmage. Clearly, you're having issues at the line of scrimmage. Then you're also having issues at linebacker. I think you also need to give some serious consideration to adding Brandon Spikes to your team. Um, he's a linebacker. He's not good in the pass game. But as you've seen through his Patriots and Bills career, this guy sniffs out the run. And right now, there isn't a linebacker on the team that is making and Dominican Sue look good. Uh, he had Levy last year in, in, with the Lions and, and 100 and something tackle season. And when Dominican Sue shot that gap and it created a lane for that linebacker, that linebacker hit it and made a play. Nobody's doing that on this Dolphins defense and it, it's making Dominican Sue look bad. Let's take our next Twitter question. It comes from at in the woods. Jets defense coordinator Casey Rogers reportedly knew that Ryan Tannehill can't audible mm. and used it against us. Is it true that Tannehill cannot audible? Um, I don't like that question because Tannehill has more control of the offense than just about any quarterback in the NFL. Um, read option means the quarterback makes a decision whether they're running or whether they're passing. Um, can Tannehill look over to Rashard Matthews or Jarvis Landry and say, hey, I'm changing this route? No, he can't. But he has built in their hot routes built in based on the coverage that the quarterback and the wide receiver have to have to be on on the same page. It doesn't need to be, oh, wait, hey, hey, you go run a nine. That's not that's not what it's built for. If they're giving you single safety high, the wide receiver knows he runs a nine and Tannehill knows he runs a nine, um, which is a deep pass. Um, he has control of the offense. Can he call plays and adjustments at the line of scrimmage? No, but he does indeed have control of the offense. Um, whether or not he has audible power, that wasn't your issue against the Jets. The issue against the Jets was that the Jets knew that Ryan Tannehill plays in a 20-yard box and he can't hit the deep pass. And the Jets, what did they do? They consistently gave you single safety high. They consistently blitzed you. And they said, Ryan, beat us. Mm -hmm. He couldn't. He got some pass interference calls for Huge step in the right direction, but that wasn't the issue. He could not and would not make the necessary throws. But when screen, when a cornerback blitzes that much and they can't figure out how to pick it up, uh, who does that fall on? 
It falls on the quarterback okay. because uh, it falls on the offensive line, but it falls on the quarterback. You're supposed to read and the receiver. Now, is his receiver running the right route because of that hot? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I got to be able to look at the film, and honestly, I haven't. I've been dealing with a lot of There's a lot of other issues. There's been a lot going on. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of other issues. That leads to our next Twitter question at Anthony Lotus eight twenty three. As tough as Campbell is going to be, that we think he is, does that make the O line block better? You know what? The O line is going to block better when they have a mentality of work, when they stay committed and consistent with the run game, and and that's just not happening right now with these Dolphins. Uh, they run the ball less than any team in the NFL. They're averaging uh, 69.3 yards per carry. There is no commitment to the run. I mean, when you're at the goal line and you consistently pass, 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 and we've done it now for two games, two games, you have no desire to run the ball. Mm -hmm. You you're you're an offense that passes the ball 70 percent of the time with Ryan Tannehill as your quarterback. What does that say about you as a team? Says, says about you, you, have light, you need to make some better You're life soft. choices. Yeah, I know. Well, we are getting some uh, live questions in as well right now, and I wanted to get to this next one uh, because it, it's a good one. At Mind Crime, think these more intense physical practices will translate to more wins. I, that's, what he, that's what Dan Campbell is coming in and pushing. We are not tough enough Monday He's through right. Saturday, and that leads to us not being tough enough on Sunday. My these issues the on these court. offensive defensive lines, is that going to fix them? No, but it, it might lead to more injuries. It might lead to changing the mentality of the team where they're not folding at every opportunity or maybe they fight through struggles and issues. Right now, they're just not, they're not a tough team. Now, do you, how do you change that? I, I don't know. I, I don't know if you could change it in one week or one month or one season. Um, you might have to need a complete overhaul personnel, personnel wise. I mean, you turned Indomitian Sue into a pussycat. Like, <laughs> uh, how does that happen? Uh, you know, and, and that's just the mentality of you've got to get tougher. Right.